Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, hi, my name is Madison, and as you guys can tell by the title, I am finally doing a hair care routine, how I get my hair long. I'm gonna share all the products that I use. I filmed one of these videos a couple years ago, I think. So before we get into it, make sure you guys subscribe. And then if you're not already, make sure you follow me on my Instagram and TikTok, which I will put right here and then also down below. So I'll give a little background on my hair and I'll show you my hair and then we'll get into the products that I use. I have not gotten my hair cut since October 2022 and I got about a foot off then. A lot of it was just like dead and dry. Hey guys, so this is current Maddie. I filmed this video a couple months back and I don't even know how it got put on the back burner for months and I really wanted to get this up because I still use the same products. I do the same thing and I get this question all the time to do an updated hair care routine. So that is what I'm gonna do. So I did get a decent amount of hair chopped off literally right after I filmed that video and I filmed the video in August and I got my hair chopped in August. It is February right now and I will show you. I mean, it is wavy. This is what it looks like now. This is my belly button right here. So it is like right to my belly button. There are only two things that I've added to this routine since August. My sister introduced me to rosemary water. You should like boil the rosemary and make rosemary water and then you can spray it in your hair and you can do it when it's wet, when it's dry, it doesn't make it greasy or anything and it really does help with growth. So I've been using that. And then with the rosemary water, all we do is we put it in like a little spray bottle that you can get from like the Dollar Tree, anything like that. And it works perfectly, I love it. Another thing, I recently got this, I wanna say beginning of the month and I've been using it for about three weeks now and I really do like it. This is the Whey Scalp Serum. Um, I picked this up at Ulta and I really like it because I saw a girl do before and after, like three months after using it and it really just helped make her hair look fuller, helped with the growth of like the baby hairs here because we all know how those can kind of just burn off or get <laughs> fried off when you either dye your hair or you use heat on it and stuff like that. And I have not gotten my hair dyed since October 2020 and then before that it was like in high school I used to dye my hair quite a bit and then I kind of realized like maybe this is killing my hair I got like I had a lot of like dead pieces like up here which is crazy because these are like my shortest pieces now and then also in high school I would straighten my hair a lot specifically freshman year of high school I would straighten it like every day and also in eighth grade but it still wasn't even that straight because I had that like crimp in the back, you know what I'm talking about, like where you would just forget to do the back of your head. Yeah, that was me. So that's a little like background on my hair. So I'm assuming this is like my natural color and all the products that I mentioned, it'll be in like my hair care section on my storefront, which I'll put down below. So if you guys are interested in trying out anything that I mentioned, it'll all be in like one place for you guys to find easily. When it comes to washing my hair and the products that I use and how often I wash my hair, I've definitely gone down on the times per week that I wash my hair. It honestly really just depends on like what I'm doing or if it's feeling greasy, but three to four times, sometimes more, sometimes less, it really just depends. So when it is time for me to have a hair wash night, before I get in the shower, I always brush out my hair and I used to never do this. I would literally just get in the shower with like huge tangles and just assume that that was gonna turn out okay. I just use a wet brush which I've been using them for a while. So once I like brush my hair and everything, what I will do is I will go in with shampoo. Something that I recently started doing within this last year, not all the time, but sometimes I will do like a double shampoo. I mean, I have a lot of dry shampoo in there or hair gel or anything like that. I will do a double cleanse. And so what that means is I will just shampoo twice and I will do two different shampoos normally. Love it because I feel like it gets it clean and gets all that grossness and like build up that I have in my hair so then I can go in really shampoo if that makes sense. Something that I like to use is this and I think I got mine from Marshalls. Obviously mine's pink. I like it because I feel like it really stimulates your scalp as well as gets the product worked in there and 
gets rid of any like buildup or like dead skin and stuff that's just sitting on your scalp. So this is something that I feel like has made a huge difference. You guys have probably heard of it before, but it's the Miel, I think I'm saying it right, Rosemary Mint Strengthening Shampoo. And Allie had gotten this a while back and I just kind of started using hers. Like my hair's grown so much just since October and my sister's hair's like to the top of her butt right now and like she can get hers cut. And I'm like, how is it growing so fast? But I really feel like it's this. Really, really, really like this. And I like to rub it between my hands and get it like all foamy and sudsy and then go in there. And I have this in and I'm scrubbing all on my scalp and that's where I focus the shampoo at because I don't want it drying out my ends or anything. So I just focus it all like ears up, if that makes sense. So just on the scalp area. Also, I should mention that when I double shampoo, like I'll put in the first shampoo, rinse that out, and then I will go in with the shampoo just wanted to clarify and then in the shower i go in with conditioner for the past couple months i've been loving the weight conditioner it's just the one ally had i kind of used like all of it right now what i'm currently using is this trader joe's tea tree tangle i have the shampoo and conditioner of it i like the scent and just the cleanliness it feels and like the shampoo when you put on your scalp it has that like nice tingle feeling this one's from trader joe's and with my conditioner just do it from like here down don't go up on here just apply the conditioner from my ears down focusing it on like my ends because that's where they're pretty dry and then I just twist my hair up into a bun to get it off my back so I can finish up with the rest of my shower routine and then I'll take it down and rinse it out so now that we're out of the shower what I like to do is I put my hair pin a towel probably for like five to ten minutes while I get dressed put my lotion on everything like that and then I'll take it down and I will comb it out with my wet brush and then what i do is i put on sol de janeiro brazilian glossy nourishing hair oil and this literally smells just like the perfume and i just do a couple pumps on my hands and i rub it and i put it through just like that and then also you can use this on your hair when it's dry so like after styling it i straighten my hair for this video so you guys could see like really how long it is and then i just put this on after and it really does just kind of give it like a nice shine and gloss which i really like this is my newest obsession this is a super milk conditioning hair primer from lush and honestly the scent is so amazing it has like a strong lemon scent. It says it's an almond, coconut, and oat milk hydrator that seals moisture into freshly washed hair and perks up dry curls. Sometimes I feel like the spray is a little bit like concentrated into one area. So I'll just spray it on my hands, rub it in, and kind of just go like this. And smell it on my hair the next day. And then if I just want to like freshen up my hair if I'm throwing it in like a sleek bun or something like I've been doing or a braid, I've been putting this all throughout my hair. If I know I'm just going to wash it, if I want to put a lot in and... I cannot tell you how good this smells. And then I have a couple other products to show you guys. So my favorite dry shampoo is the Batiste. I love this. I don't think this is my favorite scent, but I love this one. Just stick with this one and I really do like it. Something that I do a lot is wear French braids, which you guys see. And I would wear it a lot at the hospital and it's just easy and I have a lot of hair and it just gets it all out of my face. So something that I like to do is kind of kill two birds with one stone if I know... I am not gonna wear my hair like down wavy. I will just drench my hair in some oil. And this is from that same brand, Miel. It's Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Oil. And this is so good. Also, sometimes before I got this, I would go in with this one too. The oil, and then I feel like the braid just kind of locks in that moisture and it helps so much. And I definitely notice a difference in like my hair softness. And I feel like the oil just helps hold the braids too so they're not like flyaways coming out if you know what i mean throughout like your shift or anything like that plus you can have a cute hairstyle but also take care of your hair at the same time and then if i do use heat which i normally never blow dry my hair i have probably blow dried my hair one time in the past year if i blow dry my hair i always use a heat protectant if i straighten it like i straighten it for this video i use a heat protectant this is just the chi x barbie one i just had picked this up i think i got this like around the holidays or something always use a heat protectant i used to not which is crazy but i always 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 use one now if i know that i'm going to be using heat on my hair and then one of my other favorites i hated this stick at first the bedhead like slick stick i didn't like it and then when i was in new york i like finally figured out how to like really use it i feel like I really like this for just like sleeking your hair back if you want to kind of almost give it like that wet look like super super sleek that'll do it for you it does leave like a weird film on your hair I feel like even after you brush it out it's almost like sticky at least that's what I think I haven't really heard anyone else say that so maybe it's just me but 
So those are all the products that I use on my hair. If you guys use any of these products, let me know. Or if you guys have any good recommendations of maybe even like a matching shampoo conditioner duo, let me know. I want to try out new things. I've never been someone to spend a ton of money on hair care. I think because growing up, I was like super into makeup. I'm like, I don't even care. Like I want to spend all my money at Sephora on makeup and not hair care. And then I feel like now I'm like super into skincare. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you guys have any questions or video requests, make sure to leave them down below in the comments. I hope you guys are having an amazing day so far. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video.